Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I'm going to be doing one of the things I love to do and that's fish for perch. And I'm going to be running the T-Turn bait rig with live minnows. I've got some nice lively minnows here in my trusty pail and what I'm going to do folks, I am going to fan cast the area all around the boat here and see if I can get into some nice tasty yellow perch. So stay tuned folks, so glad you could join me. There's a bite. There's a fish. <laughs> That's a good hit. Okay. Oh, I've got this little light. I've got my crappy rod I'm running today. Oh, I got, look at this. I got a double, folks. Look at this. I got a double. That's the beauty. I love using that T-turn bait rig because you've got two hooks on there. You can catch two at a time. And you could also, uh, if, if you lose the bait on one of the hooks, the beauty of a two T-turn rig with two hooks. I'm gonna keep that fish. You could, uh, if you lose one bait, you always got your second bait there as, as a backup. So it's, uh, it's a great system to use. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to re-rig now. I'll put up a nice uh, fresh minnow on that top hook. In fact, I've got a, min uh, a, a video out there, if you haven't seen it yet, that shows different ways to rig a minnow. Um, and I'll put a link here for you so that you could check it out, but it shows different ways to rig, uh, rig live minnows for maximum action and uh, gives you some different ideas on how you can rig, uh, rig up your minnow. All right, this is a real small minnow here on the top, but let's see if I can't use him. I like to use a little bit bigger if I could. Hey, there's another. I wonder if he took that little minnow or the, a bigger one. Let's take a look. The little one was on the, was on the top hook. And oh, look at that. He must have taken, that's what I said about running two rigs. He took my top minnow and then I ended up catching him on the bottom minnow. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna freshen both of these minnows up, put two fresh minnows on and get back in there again. Okay, I've got myself two nice lively minnows I just put on. Nice little pitching technique for casting. I really like to use that technique when it uh, comes for, oh, there's a bite for catching panfish. And a hit, let's see if he bites again. And there's another hit, there we go. Now, if you noticed, I pulled on about the third bite. And uh, when you're fishing with live bait, what you want to do, you don't want to pull on the first bite. You want to pull on the second or the third bite. Oh, and there's a nice perch. That's a nicer perch right there. Hey, there's a good, good size, chunky perch, healthy. And uh, yeah, if you, if you wait too long on the bite, you could A, lose your, uh, lose your minnow, or B, you run the risk of them swallowing your bait. So, Second or third hit is when you want to set the hook when you're using live bait. Boy, do I love this kind of fishing, folks. And you know, when you're using live minnows for panfish, I like to use those long shanked hooks. Thin wire, long shank hooks. The thin wire keeps the minnows lively longer, and the long shank helps you for hook, easy hook removal. It's a, it's a good, hook to use for any kind of panfish. There's a bite. That was a little, just a little bump. See if he comes back after it. Come on. Mm, doesn't seem like he wants to come back. Oh, actually, he, he did come back. That's another thing, a little bit of patience goes a long way. Okay, it was a smaller fish there. But yeah, sometimes you gotta be patient with that bite and just give them a chance to, uh, to hone in on that bait. Nice. The other thing is, I'm using minnows today, and the great time to use minnows for perch, spring, winter, of course, ice fishing, and fall. Those are prime times for using, uh, for using minnows, as opposed to in the summer, oh, there's a good hit. <laughs> in the summer, uh, you could run worms and have, have more luck in the summer, but spring, fall, and winter ice fishing, minnows definitely get the nod. It's a much, much better bait to use. Okay, I've re-rigged. I've got a bigger minnow on the top and a smaller minnow on the bottom. And as you can see, I'm kind of casting in the same area because 
that area is holding fish. So at this point, why change spots if that spot's holding fish? Now, if the bite starts to dry up, that's when I'll start to fan ca cast and work this whole area beside the boat. But for right now, this, oh, there's a bite. This spot is producing, and there we go. I just got myself another perch. So, all right. That's a smaller one, but aggressive bite. Nice aggressive bite, and look at that. He took the bigger minnow. I said I had the bigger minnow on the top and the smaller one on the bottom. He went for the bigger minnow. Small fish, no problem. He went right after that bigger minnow. All right, let's freshen up. All right, back in we go. I'll tell you folks, if you like to relax, you got a stressful job and you want to get out and have some relaxation and have some fun, get some light gear and come on out for perch. It's very stress-free. You'll end up with a nice meal at the end of the day and you'll have a lot of fun. It's a really, really relaxing way to fish. And there's another bite and a lot of fun. Okay, bite number three and set the hook. <laughs> this is this is just a riot okay so now I noticed the fish have been getting smaller in that spot so maybe what I could do um, maybe I'll try over a little bit and see if there's some bigger fish holding over just a little bit uh, if not of course I'll swing back to this uh, this spot again all right let's give a try down there and see if there's any perch holding there and if so see if there's any bigger perch all right down we go Actually, thought I felt a bite. Oh yeah, I felt a bite. <laughs> that was no mistake in that time. <laughs> oh, this is this is just so much fun, folks. I got to tell you, I really do love fishing for perch. I just love fishing. Oh, this is a nicer perch. So, there you go. The technique is working. I fished in front of me here, caught some fish, the fish started getting smaller, cast to a dew zone, all of a sudden I got into some bigger fish. I have a funny feeling there's a little pool of bigger fish there. I'm going to work that area, catch some more bigger fish I hope, and then I'll just keep fan casting and working my way along. I hope wherever you are, you get an opportunity to give perch fishing a try. I'm having a lot of fun today. This is a riot. I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. It's always great to see you. We've got a lot of great subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. We welcome new subscribers and we always have a lot of great fish catching action coming your way. Until next time, good luck and good fishing.